الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد هبت في الله question was asked about a friend who is apostated meaning that a person who uh, had a friend who was a Muslim at one time I don't know if it comes from a revert community or not but the point is <coughs> that the individual in question apostated so the question was should I remain as a friend to this person I care about them I have addressed their doubts but they're surrounded by bad people and bad influence <clears throat> and how and I'm concerned about how it might affect me <clears throat> as well in my deen so first and foremost there are many issues going on there and that this is an unfortunate scenario but it's something that we face around the world even in Muslim countries but especially in the West being a Muslim minority and having all the negative influences so as far as your friendship with that individual and your concern for them wanting to come back to the worship of Allah Azza wa Jal, that there is immense khair and that you want khair and that da'wah Allah Azza wa Jal is one of the muqasid the things that we are encouraged to do in the in the religion is call people to the worship of Allah Azza wa Jal and this is khair azim however as you mentioned that if this person so this is something you would have to determine if you feel that being around this individual is harmful to you then of course it is better to make hajr of this individual meaning to ibta'id anhum to be away from them or him or her because they left the religion of Islam and they are into probably a lot of ma'asi and dhanub and things that can affect your iman and your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so those are things to be quite cognizant of Secondly, another point is you have to that there are different ways that you can engage with this individual as being someone who is apostated from Islam. Obviously, you're going to begin to di you you should distance yourself, especially if you see that there isn't much maslaha, much benefit in being around them. That you should begin you should distance yourself and if you fear and that there's going to be harm so there are different gradations meaning that you can still maintain a loose relationship by the phone maybe through social media without hanging out without being in their company because they've left the religion of Islam and you're going to be praying and you're going to be and again it goes back to the masali wa mafasid is this or do you think you're going to have a positive impact are they a person who's open or are they so far from Islam that now their heart is hard and they detest that and they're going to question why are you praying at my house I don't want you doing that uh, then if this is the case then of course you need to be away from them and you can still still contact them with the hopes that they will have some hidayah la'allahum <laughs> tahtadun in hopes that they will be guided by Allah and dua never stops the Prophet ﷺ said dua hua ibadah supplication is ibadah, it is worship and that will in and of itself you don't know how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will change their heart he's al muqallib al qulub he is the changer of the hearts and the heart one of the names of the heart in the Arabic language is qalb is the is the qalb which refers to something that changes and that's why it is referred to as the qalb يقلب, you know that is it's something it, it changes and it overcomes or you know so it's something that can be quick changing the heart the heart is fickle 
the heart is weak and it's quick changing. So it's known as the qalb. And you don't know if they might be guided. As the Prophet ﷺ said, in the Ahadikum, Oh, I said that. So any one of you will be Verily, one of you will be close to the paradise until what was written over them will overtake them and they will do the deeds of the hellfire and enter it. And likewise, the opposite. in the ahadukum. So, and verily, one of you will do the deeds of the people of the hellfire until what is between them and it is an arm span and they will do the deeds of the people of paradise and enter it. So you don't know when and if someone will be guided. And we don't know when and if we may become misguided. So that's why we always ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for a class with the bat. So it's very important to know and understand the hidayahs from Allah and not to give up on this person, but you have to distance yourself in accordance with their disobedience and their rejection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you see that there's a, a good potential uh, and you can estimate that and it's not going to be harmful to you and your deen, then engage with them. And perhaps you can visit them and, 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 and be in their life more <clears throat> actively. But if you see that there is a great harm by being with them, and that they're going to call you back to music, they're going to call you back to getting a boyfriend, they're going to call you back to muharramat, things that displease Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they're going to reject you praying in their company or what have you, then you know you have to keep them at arm's Length. You have to keep uh, keep them away from you, and you have to strive your best to give them guidance at a distance. We ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam, ala Nabiya Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.